Greetings, YouTube. Happy Saturday. No, it is not just you. We have just encountered a relatively short period of emergency maintenance, working on some bugs that I have some idea about, given what you all have sent me this morning, though I didn't do a video about it. I just said I would mention it. So here we go. In Act 7, some of you have told me that you completed paths and then went back into certain chapters of Act 7 only to find that those paths did not register completion, which is a nightmare, especially for those of you that spent units and certainly everybody spent energy and items to get through it. So I don't know what to tell you. That is a new bug in my book, but at the same time, it's uh, you know to be expected with new content, unfortunately. Uh, with that being said, there was this uh, certain speculation on some uh, chats of my line that the game was going down because they were going to bring the piggy bank back, which I don't even know how to review that because by the time I was set to review it, they took it out because that was apparently what was crashing the game a couple of days ago. But uh, something that isn't going to crash the game or probably your wallet is the new Alpha Catalyst Bundles that we are set to grade and review for this weekend. So we are going to start as always with the cheapest and then work our way to the left. Uh, five tier one alpha, 25 tier four class callus fragment crystals, which is half of what you need fragment crystal wise to trade in for a fully formed tier four class callus right now in the store and $10 worth of gold or 100,000 gold. This is the retail price for beginners that they're looking to capitalize on, especially if those beginners are ranking up, say, four-star champions. This is the price that this has been for uh, years now. We have not lowered it. I keep waiting for this to be five bucks. If it was five bucks, I'd be like, you know what, throw five bucks out and get five tier one alpha. Sure, I know people who have way more tier two alpha and tier five basic in their overflow than they do tier one alpha. So you can make an argument, despite things like peak milestones, that tier one alpha is one of the uh, biggest issues right now in the quote unquote economy of the game for in-game players, certainly. Uh, but at the same time, it's just not a great value for 10 bucks. Consider that that's the same price you can access the Black ISO store for a month. Uh, there just really is no uh, real guaranteed value, even if, um, even if you get this as a beginner, for ten dollars, it's just not worth the value. If you, if for five bucks, yeah, I can make an argument. But uh, there are other ways you can get the tier one alpha, especially because I do believe maybe is it today that the tier one alpha arena is coming in the contest. And yes, I, I get that we have limited time. Grind your soul away, arenas. I just opened a six star from the six star arena and posted that video. But uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna give this an F. It's just, it was a, like a C offer in 2017, and it remains a F offer now that we've evolved three years, but not price-wise. All right, speaking of evolution, I remember when Tier 2 Alphas used to be 100 bucks, and it was kind of a big deal when they went down to 50 bucks. And now we routinely see them at the price point that you see them, and that is 20 bucks for two, when you consider it's $40 for two, so $20 a piece. It's kind of strange that there's only one Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selector. I would think that you would at least get two of those, if not three. And then speaking of strange with the number two, uh, there are only two Tier 4 Basics. So this is like a hodgepodge, like fruit basket of Kabam offers. It's not going to give you any of your favorites. Like I used to, I don't know about you, but when it came to Halloween candy, it was chocolate or bust. Get everything out of my bag. Even stuff like Starburst that I normally would enjoy compared to like Reese's. Or uh, this poor lady once was in our uh, apartment complex. We lived in a low-income housing unit with a bunch of elderly people, really nice people. And she uh, had a box, like a whole bag of boxes of M&M Minis and just dropped them all accidentally because she was low on oxygen into my bag. And then was like, oh, good, I don't have to answer the door anymore, and then, and then shut the door. It was the greatest Halloween for me ever. My brothers were very jealous. I did end up sharing with them, though, not as much as I probably should have. Uh, random story and random tangent, but back to this. This is a, a C minus offer. It's a little bit below average. Given what we have seen, especially for throne breakers in the glory store. Uh, and yes, as I continue to preach for my own account, I will spend all my glory the minute it hits on tier two alpha. And then I will save the rest for the next week because the way that my account is right now, I actually think Kabam has somewhat underestimated for uh, in-game players and especially Cavalier and just Thronebreakers in general. How easy it is right now to get Tier 5 basic Callus Fragments. 
they're so easy to get that I cannot imagine anytime soon, especially because I've got a rank five generic five star rank up and two generic rank one to rank two six star rank ups. I can't imagine um, ever spending any money or being tempted to spend money on anything that would give me tier five basic callus fragments because it's just so easy to get into the overflow. I do think the game needs to strongly consider at some point soon. In 2021, increasing the inventory caps, particularly for those of you who, like me, are spending money to get the extra inventory cap increase already in the Black ISO store. Because we could easily get 12 tier 5 basic now instead of 10. And then the one that I just think makes absolutely no sense whatsoever is the tier 1 alpha. This thing should be increased to at least 25. At least by 10. Because it's so easy. You need 5 to take a 5 star up a rank. I mean, 15 is just nothing for a cap. And then, uh, like, how can you have more Tier 2 Alpha as a cap than Tier 1? To me, that makes literally zero sense. You don't need five Tier 2 Alpha every time you rank up a 5-star from Rank 1. So, uh, whoever's designed this, that's a top priority. If you're watching this and you're part of the Kabam Content Creator Program or have some direct line to Kabam, you just say, like, if there's two wishes I have for 2021 in the game that can be real easy and make the game better, increase the cap of Tier 1 Alphas. And also, for the love of God, because I... Miss so many hours. This I probably miss four or five crystals a year because of this. Whenever the daily calendar comes in, just put the daily crystal in with it. So that way you don't have to worry about claiming it and missing several hours of it, which is what always happens to me. End of rant, YouTube. Let's say this video here. It's a C minus and an F grade for the two offers today, but hopefully the game won't go down because, you know, literally F that.